Hi, Lorenzo. Hello. Welcome to Bohemian Rhapsody magazine, independent media and publicity channel. Uh, thank you so much for coming and thank you for your time. Thank you for the opportunity to interview you and get to know you. Your songs are just amazing. They are light, spiritual, inspirational, and just beautiful lyrics. So, tell us more about you. Okay, I, well, I am a singer-songwriter based in Melbourne, Australia. Yep. I've just recently signed to two different labels in the States. And I'm classically trained. I have been writing music and singing, performing um, from a very young age. My family is very musical, so it's, it's an everyday thing in my household. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, How would you describe your music style? My music style, I love every style and genre. Mm -hmm. uh, probably best that style that suits me would would be classical pop. Um, I, I'm a classical singer, mm -hmm. but I really love contemporary music, so awesome. I try to merge the two. Hey, if you're so imagining of you, wondering if you're missing me too, there's people around but my mind's on. I know that artists get inspired by things they see, may it be nature, um, people around you, or maybe a everyday routine. So what is the one thing that inspires you the most? I usually write about what I feel rather than what I see. I'm really inspired by things that touch people. And if I see that someone is emotionally attached to what I'm writing, I feel like I'm on the right, the right direction for where I want my music to be portrayed. So how would you describe the place where you create? That's your studio. Yes, <laughs> it's actually my bat cave. Um, it's um, a little man cave that I have at home and it allows me to just close the world outside and in there I can create, I can be emotional, I can be strong, I can be sensitive and don't need to worry about anything else that's going on around me. <laughs> so. So what has been your most memorable creation and why? Good question. <laughs> really good question. Definitely what I'm doing right now. I love the direction that I've gone, that I'm going in, um, with the people that I'm working with. I feel, I feel like everything is starting to fall into place. So I'm really happy with the style of music that I'm writing at the moment. And just excited about the future. So, if not a singer, who would you be instead? I would definitely be a chef. I love everything about food. I love the smell, the taste, the texture. So yes, definitely a chef. Okay, so uh, please tell us the name of a most famous singer that would come to your mind that you would be inspired by. <laughs> Two singers that come to mind. I have to pick two because one, um, oh, one, definitely Prince, <laughs> definitely Prince, because um, he's a creative genius. And one of my favourite songs is definitely Purple Rain. Awesome, but the other, yeah. the other singer would definitely be Bono from U2, just because he's able to express himself through his music. <laughs> What would you love to do in your spare time if not singing? Yeah, if not singing, I'd love to spend time with my family and friends. But I recently bought a Harley, so I love riding my motorbike. What 
is the first thing you would do if you won a jackpot lottery? That's a good question. <laughs> um, the first thing would do, the first thing that I would do would be lock myself away and just keep writing as much as I can, just keep churning out the albums. Um, I would love the world to hear my music. And what would you like to be doing in the next two to three years' time? I would love to be touring, performing my music around the world. That would be a dream come true. Wow, thank you so much for your time, Lorenzo. Thank you very much for, for coming and being with us. Um, I would like to ask you just one last question. If you had one wish, what would that be? One wish. My wish would be to rid the world of illness. I despise seeing young kids or little kids um, sick and I can't do anything about it so that, that would be my wish. Wow children that's so close to my heart. Yeah. Thank you so much thanks a lot for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you so much thanks a lot. For coming. Thank you very much.